The cabinet today approved revisions to the Electricity Act that are aimed at deregulating Taiwan's electricity sector into two stages. The first stage would open up the market for alternative energy. The second will fully deregulate the markets. But the measures still have to pass the legislature before they can become law. The cabinet has finalized its proposed revisions to the Electricity Act after a two-day review. Developing alternative energy in the green energy sector is a priority of President Tsai. If we can't deregulate our electricity market and cannot promote the development of green energy, it will affect several other government policies. The first stage of the proposed deregulation would allow green energy vendors, such as solar or wind power producers, to supply and sell power directly to customers without having to go through state-run utility Thai power. Some think alternative energy could push up electricity prices, but the government doesn't agree. Based on green energy's small share of the electricity market, even if the green power supply expanded exponentially, its share of the market would still be really low and its impact on prices would be negligible. The government estimates that the policy would boost the combined output value of the nation's wind and solar power sectors to 1.7 trillion NT dollars by 2025.